There you go, good bass. Oh, there's another bass chase. Oh, there's a bigger bass right under it. Oh my gosh, there's a bigger bass right under it. We're gonna get two bass here. We could literally, they're both gonna fight over this crankbait. I think I got them. No way. What up, gang? Welcome back. Gotta be quiet at this spot, man. I've been kicked out before. Here's what we're up to. We're going for smallies. One of the only places in Dallas that you can actually get on a smallmouth bite. I brought out the drop shot. And guess what? If the drop shot fails or I get snagged because I don't have too much tackle with me, I'm sorry if this is cropped in pretty tight too, but I brought the long lens instead of the wide angle, kind of by accident. And so, if we get broken off, I brought the entire Z-Man Ned Rig kit. We're gonna break this thing out if we have to. Otherwise, sticking with the drop shot, I love throwing it. Brand new Guggen Squad Green Series rods that we are going to be tossing today. This is the seven footer. Cars passing by are never good for audio. We got the Carl's Bait and Tackle quarter ounce drop shot weight with some one knot Carl's Bait and Tackle hooks. And we are about to uh, get to slaying. This is a tricky spot. Like, I'm gonna be fishing from kind of like the second story off of like a wall. And I might not be able to crank these fish up and over with this light line I'm using. So it could make for some interesting fights. I do have a backpack full of a couple things. Just some extra tackle. We'll take it with us. And, uh, oh wait, my GoPro. Gotta put my GoPro on. And then I think we're just gonna get straight to it. I'm using that Stratic reel. And then I think my, I think my main line is like eight pound braid. And then like a 10 pound leader, like a heavier leader than I even have main line. I was using this for some fishing up north and uh, where the water's crystal clear and we were just trying to finesse some smallies on some lighter gear. So hopefully this stuff holds up to these Texas bass. Uh, there's a very good chance I'm gonna catch quite a few largemouth in the hunt for a smallmouth. So the goal is to catch a smallmouth. Every, every time I come here, I catch like one smallmouth to like 10 largemouth. And then all my buddies I see on their stories when they come over here, they catch like five smallmouth and don't even get largies. So I don't know what my curse is, but Anyways, let's get this GoPro strapped up and start fishing. First things first, let's rig up a drop shot. I think I only have like five. One, two, three, oh, a full pack. Okay, so, well, minus one. I pretty much got a full pack of dragon drops and green pumpkin pearl. So it's that green pumpkin top with that just kind of like flash on the bottom. And then I am out of dragon drops. So I'm definitely gonna go over to that Ned rig or like a wacky rig or just something different if I run through these which I might have those quick access and that little pocket on the side and I think we're good to go by the way this little hook keeper down here I like to keep my drop shot weight in there instead of the hook what happens if you put ow don't do that what happens if you put your hook in here though is that then this weight just goes all over the place and it'll end up getting tangled and it's never a good thing so I don't ever do this anymore I just like to put the weight in there and uh, just a little drop shot trickery for you guys. Nose hook that drop shot bait right there. Let's get after him, see if we can hunt down a smolly. Just making the first few casts along the grass line there. Saw quite a few bass hanging out over there. And uh, there's kind of like the slightest bit of current, even if you can't see, like this water, there's movement in the water. And so with this drop shot, you know, it's not sitting on the bottom. I'm keeping that line tight to where the worm is. It's however high up from the weight you tie it. Well, there we go. We got a bite. We got a bite. He might He might have it. I don't know if he's got it. My line's pretty tight. No. Okay. And so even if you're not working the rod tip and kind of popping it along the bottom, that drag and drop is still moving around in the water. It's still fluttering a little bit. And so a lot of times I'll get my bites on these drop shots even when I'm not even working the rod. I mean, just literally letting it sit. And so you don't have to work these things like crazy. You don't need to pop it like a Texas rig, work it along the bottom super fast. This is definitely a finesse tactic, slowing things down. And not that it's necessary on a day like today. I haven't thrown anything else, but I'm just telling you typical drop shot tips that have worked for me in the past. Here's another tip for your spinning gear too. You can open the bale, hold your bait right about down by the reel. You can just kind of flip this bad boy right where you want it. This little opening right here, if you're trying to kind of cast and be accurate, there's no need for all that. And a uh, short distance cast like this, go ahead and just boom, flip it on in. Man, if I brought the Guggen Toad 
I would have slayed. Why did I leave all the other gear at home? Uh-huh. Okay. They will run you off. I live right here. They run my ass off. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> you have a good one. Right, just made a move to a little bit of a breezier side, a little deeper. But the key is I'm closer to the water, so if I have to reach down and grab a decent sized bass, I'll be able to without jeopardizing uh, snapping the line and leaving the bait and hook in its mouth. I wonder if I got something else in here that'll get some bites, man. I haven't, uh, I haven't got anything. And we've been casting for quite a while. Looking for maybe a moving bait now that I can cover some water with. This guy would be good. He'll be hitting the bottom. Ooh, we got a jerk bait too. Hmm. It is pretty clear, but it's not crystal clear. I kind of want to cover more water. Maybe I will do this guy right here. Let's see how this goes. There we go. First one of the day. All right, what are we looking at here? It's shaking its head too. There we go, good bass. Very nice. On the crank. Took a little bit, but we got him. Oh, there's another bass chase. Oh, there's a bigger bass right under it. Oh my gosh, there's a bigger bass right under it. We gotta get two bass here. We could literally, they're both gonna fight over this crankbait. I think I got them. I think I got the bigger one, y'all. This one actually is a smallie, I think. No way. We just had a monster smallmouth eat it out of the largies. No way. If this is a smallie, this is a good one. Oh my. That was some aggression. It literally, guys, this is like a big smallmouth. No way. Wow, straight out of the little large mouth's mouth. What? There's no way. There's no way. No way. Oh my gosh. Light line. Light line. Uh. No. A good smallie guys out of here. Out of the largie's mouth. That was insane. It literally just munched it and stole it. Oh. <laughs> the large mouth was like this size right here. Just a tiny little buck. And then we got this, oh my gosh, a solid two pound smallie out of the urban, no way, exactly what we came for, guys. This is nuts. <laughs> there we go, y'all. Exactly what we came here for, a nice size smallie. Can you believe it? Like a two pounder. This thing is in good shape. Yes, look at that fish. So sick. We're gonna get him back in the water. It has been such a, it has been a while since I've caught a good size smallmouth. Absolutely sick right here in Dallas, Fort Worth, man. Only place you can do it in the area. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. How crazy is that? <laughs> Nuts, man. What are the odds of that, man? The largemouth that had that bait was so small, and then I saw another bass right under it, and I was like, I think we can get them both. And when it hit, I thought we had them both on the hook because they jumped right out of the water. He literally stole it from the largemouth. That was like, that's never happened to me on camera, right in front of us. That was absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's go ahead and get some more, but before we do, drop a like for that insane little fight right there. Totally nuts. And like I said, my ratio, I caught one smallmouth to zero largemouth. So, so far we're one and oh. Let's see if we can get some more, man. Post that up on the story real quick y'all be sure and follow me on instagram you would have seen this maybe one or two days ahead of time i'm always trying to make sure i stay active on instagram in fact that's probably where i'm most active on social media i'm gonna go ahead and tag guggen squad using the new rods give us a follow on instagram man we're closing in on 90k when i hit 90,000, i think i'm gonna do a giveaway over there let me know what you guys would want in a giveaway first one came on the mini recon pretty sure this is just the sexy shad color dives down to six feet i believe it's like a i believe it's three to six foot and back a little further i could definitely see the bottom it was definitely hitting in a couple places i felt some rock i felt some concrete i'm also getting some grass but i'm just kind of ripping it through steady retrieve getting a little reaction bite here in the fall the water is definitely starting to cool down and i know those smallies don't mind maybe i can get a couple more reaction strikes just whipping past some of these bass Oh, 
Try this a little guy. Made it run back over to the first spot, y'all. Uh, the bite was, well, we got our small mouth, but it wasn't too hot over there, so I figured maybe come try. Oh my gosh. We just got like a four or five pound. Oh, I can't, there's no way this guy's coming up here. I just got like a four pounder. Oh my, guys, literally that's like a four pounder right there. We're gonna have to, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Oh boy. All right, well, let's uh, make this happen. This is serious. I have the lightest line on here. He's gonna break us off in the grass. That's not good. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got here, come on. Oh my goodness, we literally have a four pounder. I am like just bringing him through the grass with this light line. Luckily he's not thrashing right now. He could easily take me down into the grass and break off. Oh my goodness, to end this with like a four pounder. We're gonna put this guy on the scale. He's literally not fighting. This is a big fish, guys. When he hit it, I was like, that could be a five. Okay, he's right at the bank. Oh my goodness, that is a big fish. Oh gosh, don't got time to waste. Oh God. Guys, this is a big fish. What is going on right now? What is even happening? On the finesse gear. Wow, wow. Okay, as usual, I might've overshot it. Might be a, might be a three and a half to four. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We, <laughs> that fish was pinned. Oh my gosh. Wow. One hook in the top lip is all that was. Oh my goodness. And then he just stopped fighting. Otherwise I would have been in so much trouble. Oh gosh, that hook had him good. Wow. What a fish guys. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? What just happened? I, th I called this the nursery earlier. Remember that? I said, this is where the small ones are. Tell you what, there's a lot of little fish back here. I think we have found the nursery. I was just trying to get me a couple more fish real fast. And then what the heck? I think my scale needs new batteries, guys. It's saying that this thing is like 11 ounce. It's saying that this thing is like 0.11 pounds. So we're just gonna let him go. Solid fish though. How crazy is that? Just creeping off nice and slow. Doesn't even care. All right, y'all, what a session, man. Getting it in with the Guggen Green Series rods. You guys can get you some of these at Carl's Bait and Tackle. I believe all pre-orders have sold out, but a second wave is coming, so be ready. This is the seven-foot finesse two-piece. And we were rocking some moving baits, some drop shots. It handled business and brought home the biggest smallmouth I have ever caught in Texas and a nice, solid, large mouth to round out the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, those kids just reminded me in the background, tonight's Halloween. I totally done forgot, man. So happy Halloween. I know you guys probably, it's already passed. So I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I'm gonna go ahead and load up, get home, start editing. Devin and I are making the drive out to Florida tomorrow. Uh, well, actually we're making a pit stop in Georgia, staying with some friends, and then we're headed to Florida from there. Anyways, we'll see you guys in another state, manana. Hey.